Hey guys, so I've got a couple of, or a few inspirations for the deck that I'm going to do and teach then in a different video um, to reflect upon in a different way. So one video will be just the dance and then the other video will be the breaking down of the dance and how to break down the movements and actually do them. But my inspiration for this, um, which I feel that anyone can kind of adopt in many settings, especially for children, you know, we are moving on the planes again. And we're going to be embodying this um, this metaphor of north, south, east, west. Yes, Millie is dancing for us again. She loves her debuts on YouTube. Um, and the reason why I'm, do I'm using this north, south, east, west is because I feel like that kind of helps marry the science of the different planes that we move on that I speak of so much because once again, you know, they were life-changing for myself. They're evidence-based you know they're life-changing for others as well and I see how you know this relates to this old knowledge how this new knowledge um, relates to what we did once upon a time where it was more earth-based practices you know north south east west represents different things to the plains where they still kind of marry into each other so you know the north and the south you know, gathering of, of the um, the north is moving into your older wisdom, understanding your life experiences, living in that, that wisdom mode. The south is more that summer, that childish, that passion, that what gives you spark. East and west, um, you know, one will represent that bringing of life, another one is representing that settling in. Um, and one is also, you know, about that going out and almost hunting for it. And the other one is planting those seeds of what they, of what that means. And so marrying that with these planes of movements, which is about decision making, um, communication and presence in the world. And I suppose what I've been thinking a lot of lately and I, and I hear other people speak of and I see within, you know, the way up a model and even my own dance therapy, you know, we talk about. Um, authentic movement and I wonder about what the body remembers in terms of what dances we did once upon a time to ingrain certain lessons that we needed to about ourselves our environment our needs and needs of the planet because when we repeatedly do movements we are ingraining those neural pathways and I've spoken about this before so it becomes a body memory so we just in, innately know what we need to do to heal to connect to raise children to look after the planet um to to do a multiple amount of things you know so why we um do um you know I, I think of at work or at school things that tasks that we repeat so that we can remember it that that's just something that we know and how once upon a time art was the way that we did that especially dance and i look at very traditional dance forms that would do repetitious movements and i think about you know whether that was known or unknown as to why they were doing them it served a purpose or a particular message that the body needed to remember and that we get past that down. So that's that transgenerational wisdom that I've spoken about so much. That's not just the trauma. It's also about what was also, what's the good stuff that was repeated and our movements and our songs and our art and our stories are all part of that. So even if we think that our culture is, you know, especially if you're a mixed culture like me, where things have just been, you know, mixed in, or things might feel so distant. Um, it's never lost though. And so, you know, by having children, like I spoke about in the last video, the idiokinesis, you know, writing down a story, connecting to that space, and now taking that a little bit further and just kind of like moving with these concepts and seeing what comes out. Because what I would envision for a school or a center or a workplace or an organization or a program or a class of all kinds is that this ability to revitalize culture so create new rituals create new dances who knows maybe they are a replica of what was but we don't need to know if they were or not so that's not important what's important is the meaning now and so i'm going to do a dance and there's going to be you know in dance, in dance therapy we talk about different shapes and efforts and flows and I'm going to do this dance and I'm going to break down why I've moved in this way and how it represents the story that I'm bringing in. So I think if I do the dance first and then break down why I did it 
and that this then becomes part of my ritual. And this is actually why I'm doing this, because this is part of my personal ritual. This is actually part of my well-being. This creative space where I get to just see how my body decides it wants to move, and I trust that. And I don't always hate, you know, I've been very lucky to have some amazing teachers here in Australia. Um, there's Melbourne Djembe, there's Asante, there's Dance Energy Happiness, that, you know, they're the Afro teachers, and there's um, uh, Dance Hall with um, Kat, there's, um, oh, look, there's been so many that I've, I've had, I went to Chunky, Chunky Moves for Contemporary, and, and of course I did my dance therapy course. My fire spirit really wants to be on camera. Like seriously, it only does that when I'm filming. So whatever you are, you are welcome. Just, oh, because it's dance. Like really? Yes, I know you want to dance too, just hang on. Um, so yes, you know, yes I have, those teachings awaken something as well though. So not taking anything away from the magnificent teachings, but there's a reason why I connect it. So this is just one idea of how you can connect to movement. You know, if you're delivering these concepts, you can choose any dance form or let the child choose. You know, who cares if their idea of dancing in the North is just... If that has meaning to that individual child, then no one can argue with that. Yeah, it's not there to be judged for the aesthetic looks, like I said in my belly dancing vid. It's not about that. It's about how what meaning it has for them, personally. So, you know, an example of how this could be incorporated into some sort of ritual for a classroom or whatever, 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 whatever is that in dance therapy, we use this intervention where everyone's in a circle and you just start, the teacher might start moving and the leader might start moving and they move in a certain way and the next person adds to it. So they could just add a... And the next person might add a... And the next person might go... And you go around and all of a sudden, you know, either you've added on or it's just kind of like evolved into something. So you've created this little ritualistic dance that you're all doing together, you've all contributed. Everyone's being seen, heard and valued, so there's attachment right there. Everyone's expressing themselves non-judgmentally, unconditional positive regard. My dog, I know she's gonna... Millie, no! You know I'm on film and that's why you do naughty things. It's like a toddler. Are you serious? Um, you know, it's that connection, that sense of belonging. You know, once we have that sense of belonging, our magic really comes to life. Because we're almost, you know, we've given ourselves permission. And another person has seen that authenticity and they're valuing it. And then what, what grows from that space is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I want to add this part in now. A lot of these movements um, are going to be quite earth-based. And I think it's really interesting. I'm going to share an observation with you um, from what I've known, especially with neurodiverse children. I'm going to say neurotypical, you know, because I'm a neurotype. You know, we all have a variation of neurotypes. And what I'm seeing more and more is this um, relationship with the legs. So I think about in dance therapy, you know, like I spoke before, we had... We see um, shapes and flows and efforts in movement, and that tells us something about what that could mean for that person. So whether something's open or closed, um, very linear or rounded, it tells a lot about what could be going on for that young person, yeah? Um, what I notice with um, a lot of neurotypes that have come and kind of emerging now, either being born now or being allowed to flourish now, um, is this leg, the, the strength in the legs. So as a dance therapist, you know, I think of that, we would say that that earthiness, that something is this connection, this rooted connection with the earth, this need, this need to be grounded through the ground. This information that is received to be that connection is here. That connection is the earth. Yeah, it's very, um, it's very strong. And I think about how, 
you know, when we say about grounding young people, we say get into the outer parameters of your body. So your arms <laughs> and your feet. Because once you've done that, your parasympathetic nervous system, your core, can't help but, but be switched on. Um, and so that sets up your parasympathetic nervous system to ground your psychology. And so I think about how that is a natural um, attunement for a lot of neurotypes now that that's almost like an innate movement to do. Even when it's up, there's something that's really sort of like, like a branch about it. Um, this strength, it's almost uncanny. You know, I, I've seen, oh, just what I've seen. I just, <laughs> how long have we got? I need to start filming everything that I see. Um, there's no doubt about it. And I think it's very metaphorical for this relationship with Mother Nature, Mother Earth that that's where the go-to is and that's where the knowledge, that's where things just flow to and from. So very beautiful. All right, I'm going to do this dance. Um, hopefully I get it right because I can't re-record it. <laughs> Woo, no pressure, Rach, no pressure. Um, and yes, I will then do another video. I'll see how much time I've got in this one to break it down a little bit and just explain the efforts that I'm utilizing and why now I am using a First Nations song um, I did in the last dance I did as well I don't think I put on YouTube um, and the artist correct me <clears throat> if I say this wrong Pira P-I-R-R-A and Cumbia Africa so I think it's a collaboration and the song is Deep Dive <clears throat> Deep Dive my throat chakra Alright, here goes nothing.